Salute G's. Coach Davis back with another video, and in this video, we will be talking about female nature and hypergamy and how cold blooded that shit is. Because I don't think enough men at all in this world really understand how it works. It's kind of like men traded places with women. But we gonna get into that. Y'all enjoy the content. Salute all my new G's. Salute all my day one G's. And if you a new G, I advise you go to my channel, you slide over to the playlist, and you do what you do from there and enjoy all of my content because all of my content is unique and significant in its own way because as you can see, I let everything flow. I don't have anything I look at and write down and take notes on. I just let it flow. Because on this channel here, we speak about real life. And I have lived my life enough to know things to where I don't have to be writing down anything. I let it flow. But I'm going to get on with the video. Salute. Y'all enjoy. One thing most men don't understand about female nature and hypergamy is that it has no boundaries. It's not just with a significant other. It also happens with their kids. We already know most kids are not planned. Most kids just happen. And there are women that don't believe in abortions. And then you have other women that just say, hey, fuck it and go with it maybe because they can't even afford the abortion. Yeah, this is about to get real deep because this is what I do on my channel. We get cut throat and we talk about real life for Her real. Mind, if let's say if it is planned, when she has a kid with a specific kind of man, let's say between my age range, she sees that that man has potential to become great, so she will have that man's child, whether she's young and not ready or not. So now, if you don't turn out to be shit, now your son has to pay for that or your daughter has to pay for that. Because now they're disappointed and embarrassed that they have a specific kind of baby father. Yeah, it gets that fucked up. So, this is something that I suffered from. See, my dad turned out to be not shit. And a liar to my mother. And my mother decided to put that on me. I'm not going to sit here and say all parents are like that. But I'm sure there are a lot out there. A lot more than there should be. An example of female nature is if your mother does not have a good relationship with your father, nine out of ten times, she will turn her kids against the father so she can be the greater parent. She will turn your own family and her family against the father so she can be rewarded as the golden single mother. She just wants validation from everybody and she wants to ruin you. And the more ruined he becomes, referring to the father, the more validation she will get from everybody else for being the golden single mother. Form of female nature slash hypergamy is when women choose to settle with a man that they've been with for a long enough time. Just because they're comfortable with them out of fear of starting over because they don't know what's, you know, behind that door. So because they don't know what's behind that door, they'd rather just stay behind the door that they've been in for a while that they don't even like. And maybe try to, you know, peek through the door while they still in the other one. And what do we call that? Of course, cheating, having a side dude. And testing the waters first before they make the full evacuation. I experienced that. Like I told y'all in one of my videos before. I got a random phone call. That she was with another dude and she just broke out on me. When she was the same person that I was trying to break up with for about 10-15 times. And she would buy, she would cry. I said bye. She would cry and beg and plead for me not to leave. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Women leave you mentally first. 
and you will not know. There will be signs, and a lot of women tell on themselves on social media. But if you're not paying attention to that, you're going to get the cold shoulder spontaneously. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to feel like a bullet hit your chest, G. Because that shit fat. form of hypergamy slash female nature is most women will choose financial stability over their own happiness. If a dude makes them happy and they may might be in love with him or whatever the fuck, and he does not have more money than the guy that she was already with, then you're out of the picture, buddy. Because at the end of the day, if most women are afraid to be alone, then they're more afraid of what? Surviving. They have to survive. Women are the greatest manipulators on earth. That man on the other end will not know that she is not even in love with him because she is putting on a facade to what? Survive. He's providing a lifestyle for her that maybe the guy that she's in love with can't provide. He may be able to take on trips. He may have more money. He may have just a better lifestyle. Whatever the fuck. Y'all could put two and two together. Y'all grown. Keep that in mind. Women have to survive. And if you are not in a position where you and her can survive together, then love doesn't fucking matter. Female nature slash hypergamy that is new to my generation is social media over everything. She will rather send the whole world a sexy picture of herself and get thousands of likes and hundreds and thousands of comments rather than to do it for her significant other because I mean, nine out of 10 times, she probably don't even love that dude anyway. Maybe he's just hitting it right. Maybe he's financially in a good position for them to do things that she may wanna do and she may be able to use him for things that she may need. But at the end of the day, she needs the simp zombies to validate her for her to feel great. It makes her feel great seeing her notifications flooded with comments and notifications from simp warriors and simp zombies. Simps that they know. I know a dude, but there's dudes out here that jerk off two pictures of women on Instagram and I sh I'm sure that they know that and just the thought of that alone makes them feel great one man cannot provide what a hundreds and thousands of simp zombies will provide for her keep that in mind I don't even know for sure if women can tell the difference between a dude that is solid and a dude that is not why because you attract what you are they live their life of what they want people to view them as that's why they pound their face in 10 pounds of makeup and they care so much about how they dress and how tight they clothes are and all of this other shit so of course that's only what they see in men all they care about is what they see throughout your exterior most i'm not going to say all this video is not about me bashing women this video is just about spreading the truth of what's going on out here in this world, especially in this technology era. This is what's going on. I don't believe that most women can see and tell the difference between a dude that's solid with character and principles versus a dude that all he cares about when he get a little bit of money is buying Jordans and buying a whole bunch of fly shit that he can't even fucking afford. And one that has probably been going on since the beginning of time Is that most women will feel like They can change a man that ain't shit So if, for example A dude makes her happy, they have a great chemistry, whatever the fuck But he may not be bringing enough size to the table If you know what I'm talking about But yet there's another dude that ain't shit Maybe fresh out of prison, whatever the fuck and he's bringing more size to the table. She will be in her delusional mind. Like, well, I can change him. You know, I mean, he is an asshole. He does call me a bitch all the time. And he doesn't respect me. 
but I think I can come up with something logical and figure out how to change him. But yet they don't even accept themselves. That's why they trying to change him because they are insecure. Now while on semen retention, while you're retaining your seed, you will be producing more of something called pheromones. See now, the longer you're on here on semen retention, the more pheromones you produce. This is where my point of female nature, hypergamy, comes in. If you have been retaining your seed longer and produce more pheromones than her boyfriend, which will be obvious because like, I, like we all know, only 1% of men will do this and succeed and really go the distance. So regardless of how much money he has or whatever the fuck is going on in a relationship, she will subconsciously be more attracted to you Keep that in mind. Now, I'm not telling you this to use that to your advantage because we all know about karma, right? So keep that in mind as well. But just know, no woman wants to be with a man that is at a low vibration with a low sperm count and low testosterone. And I'm going to end this video off right here because this video is long enough. Salute all my new G's. Salute all my day one G's. Y'all take this and y'all be safe out here. Y'all get to know people. Y'all learn who y'all dealing with. Y'all don't just jump in the shit. Because body and face and all that exterior shit. You feel me? And the marathon continues. Salute.